Our today's topic is work done in gravitational field. Work done in gravitational field. Here is image of Earth and a body of mass M is placed in a space surrounding the Earth and this body of mass M experiences a force F and this force experienced by this body is equal to its weight and is directed towards the center of the earth. So this force on object is directed downward towards the center of the earth. This space around the earth in which it exerts a force of attraction on other bodies is known as gravitational field. So this field is known as gravitational field in a space around the earth where it exerts a force of attraction on other objects. The gravitational force per unit mass on a body is known as gravitational field strength. Its SI unit is Newton per kg. So gravitational force of the earth on this object per unit mass is known as gravitational field strength. Now we are going to calculate work done in closed path. Let us consider a closed path A, B, C, A in gravitational field as shown in the figure. We have considered a closed path A, B, C, A and in this closed, closed path we are going to do work done on object of mass M. A body of mass M and weight W is carried along the closed path from C to B and then from B to A. This body having mass M is carried along path CB and then from path B to A and then from A to C. The angle between W and D2 is 90 degree and the angle between BA and W is 180 degree. Here you can see that W weight of this object and the angle between D2 is 90 degree and when it is displaced from B to A the angle between D1 and W weight of the object is 180 degree because both are anti parallel D1 is in this direction and W is in this direction so they are in anti parallel sense so their angle is 180 degree. The angle between BA and AC is theta. The angle between BA path and AC path is theta. Now we have to calculate the total work done as work done between C to B will be Work done C to B is equal to W D2 because here force is equal to weight of the object. So weight of object is W and D2 is this displacement. So W dot D2 is equal to W D2 cos 90 degree because the angle between D2 and W weight of the object is 90 degree. So cos 90 degree is equal to 0. We get work done between C and B is equal to 0. Work done between B and A will be work done from B to A is equal to W dot D1 because here weight of the object is represented by W and displacement is represented by D1. So W dot D1 is equal to W D1 cos theta. Here the angle between D1 and W is 180 degree. So we put theta is equal to 180 degree and cos 180 degree is equal to minus 1 and we get work done from B to A is equal to W D1 into minus 1 that is equal to minus W D1. Work done between A to C will be work done between A to C will be work done from A to C is equal to W D1. Weight of the object is represented by W and D is the displacement from A to C and we get dot product of W and D is equal to W D cos theta. Let's say it equation number one from triangle ABC 
is right angle triangle we can get the value of cos theta equals to base upon hypotenuse here base is d1 and hypotenuse is d so putting values we get d1 is equals to d cos theta then equation 1 becomes work done from a to c is equals to w d cos theta so d1 is equals to d cos theta putting d cos theta is equals to d1 in equation number 1 we get work done from a to c is equals to w d1 total work done in closed path a b c a will be work done from c to b plus work done from b to a plus work done from a to c by summing up all the work done from c to b then b to a and a to c we can get the total work done in this closed path putting the values we get work done from c to b that is equals to 0 and we have calculated this in previous slide and work done from b to a is equals to minus w d1 and work done from a to c is equals to w d1 by adding up all the values we get 0 because minus w d1 is cancelled by w d1 hence w t that is total work done in closed path is equals to 0 thus total work done in a closed path a b c a in gravitational field is 0 so gravitational field is a conservative field in a conservative field work done in closed path is 0 now considering another case in this case work done is done in two different paths from path a to c and from path a to b and b to c let the body be displaced in gravitational field by two different paths direct path from a to c in this case total work done is equals to w dot d W is weight of the body, and D is displacement from path, direct path A to C, and dot product of W and D is equals to W D cos theta. From figure, cos theta is equals to base upon hypotenuse. Base is D one, and hypotenuse is D. So D cos theta is equals to D one. and putting d cos theta is equals to d1 in this equation we get total work done is equals to wd cos theta is equals to wd1 so work done in direct path from a to c is equals to wd1 let's say it equation number 1 now we are going to calculate the work done from a to b and b to c in indirect path for indirect path a b c work done from a to b is equals to w dot d1 w is weight of the object and d1 is displacement from a to b here the angle between d1 and w is 0 degree because they are parallel so putting theta is equals to 0 degree we get cos 0 is equals to 1 and we get w d1 work done from a to b is w d1 and work done from b to c is equals to w dot d2 and dot product of w and d2 is equal to w d2 cos theta here the angle between d2 and w is 90 degree so we put theta is equals to 90 degree cos 90 degree is equals to 0 and we get work done from b to c is equals to 0 so total work done using indirect path will be work done from a to b plus work done from b to c work done from a to b and work done from b to c and putting the values we get w a to b is equals to w d1 and w b to c is equals to 0 so by adding we get total work done is equals to w d1 let's say it equation number 2 comparing equation number 1 and equation number 2 we conclude that work done on the body in between any two points in gravitational field is independent of the path followed by the body because the work done in direct path a to c is equals to w d1 and work done in indirect path from a to b and b to c is also is equals to w d1 so work done in direct path a to c and work done in indirect path from a b c is equal so 
we can say that work done in gravitational field is independent of the path followed by the body thus gravitational field is a conservative field in a conservative field work done is independent of the path followed by the body our next topic is power as we have discussed work done in previous lecture and in definition of work done we do not include the time factor but machines may be classified by the speed with which they transfer energy or do work the same amount of work can be done in different time duration so we define power as the rate of transfer of energy or the amount of work done by a body in 1 second is called power if w is work done by a body in time t so according to the definition power is equals to work done divided by time and we know that work done is equals to f dot d dot product of force and displacement is equals to work done and work done is a scalar quantity so putting the value of work done in the formula of power we get power is equals to f dot d divided by t and displacement upon time displacement per unit time is equals to velocity we know that rate of change of displacement is equals to velocity so we put d by t is equals to v so dot product of force and velocity is equals to power the unit of power is watt 1 watt is equals to 1 joules per second 1 watt power is defined as power is said to be 1 watt if 1 joule of work is done by a body in 1 second so when a body does 1 joule of work in 1 second then we say that power is equals to 1 watt here is simple demonstration of work done in power this book is displaced from one point to another point when force is applied on this book so due to applied force it covers some displacement and work is done we can see that in both the cases work is same amount of work is same in both the cases but time duration is different here to do work done time duration is much larger and here time duration is less so due to large time taken power is less and due to small time duration power is greater here we have more power as compared to this due to different time duration average power the total work done by a body in total time is called average power to calculate average power we can divide total work done with total time interval and we can get average power instantaneous power the rate of doing work in any instant of time is called instantaneous power for calculating instantaneous power we use formula power instantaneous is equals to limit delta t is equals to 0 time tends to 0 very short interval of time and delta w divided by delta t so rate of doing work done at any instant of time is called instantaneous power here mr fahad and miss hania are moving up stairs and we can calculate their power by measuring the total vertical height of a stairway and using a stopwatch to find the total time taken by them to move up the stairs we can see that time taken by mr fahad is very much larger as compared to miss hania miss hania is taking less time as compared to mr fahad because mr fahad is taking much larger time so power is less and miss hania is taking less time so power is high having more power unit of power is watt and watt is very small unit normally watt is used in power of bulbs and electric fans the power of generating stations and that of grid stations is expressed in megawatts The power of pocket calculator is 7.5 exponent minus 4 watts approximately and the power of TV sets is 120 watts approximately normally we use kilowatts 
that is equals to 1000 watts for expressing the unit of power commercial unit of work is kilowatt hour from the power we can drive the large unit of energy electrical energy called kilowatt hour 1 kilowatt hour is equals to 1000 watts into 3600 seconds and we get 1 kilowatt hour is equals to 3.6 x 6 joules that is equals to 3.6 mega joules the unit of electrical energy or commercial unit of work can be defined as 1 kilowatt hour is the work done in one hour by an agent whose power is one kilowatt.